Yo, what is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use or what the purpose of sends and returns are. I was just bewildered as to why I would ever want to use them. I was perfectly happy um, just putting my effects in my channel or my effects on my master for my live performances. I didn't know why I would want to use a send and return. But then I was listening to a live recording of Fat Freddy's Drop at the Roundhouse, which I highly recommend. I'll put a link below. Uh, it's really reggae, dubby stuff that's just beautiful. It's just some of the best music out there. And for a live performance, uh, I actually think their live performance is better than their recorded album, which is always just dope to know um, that you have some real musicians. But um, they use sends and returns like crazy, and they get perfect effect, especially for the reggae dub stuff that they're doing. So I'm going to show you how they got the effects that they got in that live show. So if I have, um, let's just say this is my, my vocalist talking or singing, and it could be an instrument, and I've got it routed into live. And what I want to do is affect, say, this section here and I'm with a, a delay and let it ride out, but I want to leave this part un... Uh, dry. I want to leave him talking here dry. And I've got my, my good friend Smokey for this example. So let's go ahead and hear what we've got. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm going to get you high today. Because it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. So that's uh, pretty straightforward. It's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. So let's go ahead and uh, get something done, right? Anyway, um, I've got this also cool thing. It's a Tal Dub free preset. Now, I'm going to leave a link on the blog for you guys to go download this. There's Tal Dub 1, Tal Dub 2, and Tal Dub 3, and they're all super dope, and they're all super free. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that link below. Um, and this is what it sounds like if I just put it on the channel and run it now. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Cause it's Friday. You ain't got no job. And that sounds a little bit crazy. Um, it's kind of drowning out what he's saying, and maybe that's not what I want to happen. That sounds a little too wet, and it's a little too. Uh, I don't know, unprofessional sounding. But what I want to do is kind of accent some of the things he says and let that kind of get delayed and then roll off into the background while he continues to talk uh, with a dry microphone. So if I try to do that with the damp here, well, let's see what that does. Turn the damp down and let's go ahead and play it now. I know you don't smoke weed. You don't smoke weed. I know that. But I'm going to get you high today. So you see, as he comes off, I had to turn the damp back down so he could continue to talk uh, in the dry, and that cut off the uh, delay. And that's not what I want. And that, my friend, is why we use sends and returns. So I'll kind of come in, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to right click over here and insert return tracker that's Control Alt T on the PC. Boom, now I got that, and I'm just going to take this and drag it and drop it on there. And I'm just going to keep the, the regular standard things, and I'm going to turn the send uh, return up to about almost 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. I'm not sure what o'clock that is, but it's right there. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Let's turn it up to uh, 3 o'clock just to keep things simple. And now I have the send here. And what this is going to do is while this is playing, and this could be live or on a loop, um, when I crank this bad boy up, it's going to send the audio to the return track. And whatever audio I send to the return track, it is going to get affected. Now I can control what part of the audio is sent and affected to the uh, return track. So while I'm playing it, if I crank this up right here, leave it up right here, and then crank it down right here, this part will be unaffected, this part will be affected, and then the rest of this will be dry. And that's what I'm looking for. But when I crank it back down, this will be dry, but the effect will continue to play out over the course of the audio. So it doesn't just cut off the delay. The delay continues while he, he talks dry. Now that might not make much sense, but when I show you what we do here, um, it hopefully will become clear. 
So I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to crank up the send here and here, and then crank it down, and hopefully we will hear the delay continue to happen here while this part is unaffected. So let's go ahead and see if that's what happens. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. I know, I know this. But I'm going to get you high today. Because it's Friday. You ain't got... So you hear how he's still actually being affected, but he says, I know this, I know this, I know this, while this part is continuing uh, unaffected. So that's pretty cool. Now we can use that with maybe some horns or something like that. It works the same way. So that's pretty cool. You can hear how that might be affected and definitely add a little bit more to your live show, whether you're live, quote unquote, DJing and having a show inside of Ableton Live, or you've got live instruments or vocalists routed through live, or in any other DAW, I'm sure they work the same way. But I just wanted to clear that up, the, the benefit of using a send and return. Anyway, I hope that helps, but definitely go download those Tal Dub. Uh, VSTI, uh, VSTs because they are super dope and they're super free. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Later.